The Graff family, Ted, Corey, Ellis, and Thea, picked out their Christmas tree tonight at Pranzini Trees in San Rafael, just like they do every year. A price has gone up a little bit, yeah, a couple bucks more this year than, than last year. It's good they got their tree now. Transportation costs up 20 to 25 percent are pushing prices higher, and climate change is threatening the Christmas tree supply. That's what happened in five hours. In five hours? Five hours. John Pranzini has been growing and selling Christmas trees for more than 50 years. He has lots of pictures of trees at his Oregon farm that were killed or damaged by last summer's heat wave. We had weather that went from 112 to 114 degrees, and it lasted for four days. We never get that type of uh, warm weather like that. It went from Corvallis all the way up to almost Seattle, Washington. Some tree growers lost 25% of their crop. Clancy's Tree Lot has been operating in San Francisco for more than 40 years. They're seeing a very unusual level of demand. You know, getting a lot of phone calls, are we open, are we open? So we opened a few days earlier, and uh, it's been great. We have a great response. Everyone's happy that we're back. And so maybe you're thinking this is the year you get away from the real tree and go to the artificial tree. But the news there isn't good either. Experts say in a few weeks, they're going to be in short supply too. The CEO of a company that imports and wholesales artificial trees says the crimp in the supply chain is the problem. And quote, the demand this year is going to be extremely strong. And so I think from a consumer perspective, people definitely shouldn't wait. Consumers should buy now. It's possible natural and artificial Christmas trees could be hard to find by mid-December. In San Francisco, Terry McSweeney, NBC Bay Area News.